Hey, everybody, this is Birch. Um, comics needs to be fun. I, I mean, look, what's interesting is every now and then I'll post something absurd and people will, I, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to predict. Like, it seems like 75% of the time, so in fairness, the majority of the time, people get the joke and the joke's either good or not good or kind of stupid or whatever. And, but it's a 25% that's really hard to predict when people just lose their shit. And I, I mean, I did this post at one point, um, I, I've talked about this on the show before where I was making fun of these Disney, um, they were race swapped dolls. So they had dolls and it's like, you know, they had like Tiana was like Asian and Cinderella was black. And, uh, I, I don't know, just, they're all over the place. And I made some joke about there's woke Disney race swapping again. And I showed the little Tiana doll that was Asian. And it was clearly a joke. I mean, if, you, if you've ever listened to Stephen Wright or Norm MacDonald, I mean, you, you know this kind of humor. But all the same, people came in like, how dare you? And then they, they went into these long lectures about these dolls. And it's like, fuck me. I mean, take a joke. It is meant as dumb humor, which to me is all Twitter is really useful for. Like, I mean, if you're on Twitter trying to have intelligent political discourse, what are you doing? It's, it's meant for dumb humor. And, uh, I, I've done a bit where I've uh, joked about, have you seen this meme? I'm going to do it again, by the way, I have an idea for a joke where, um, well, it's, it's the, have you ever seen the post around, uh, Batman, um, if Batman would just stop fighting crime and invest all of his money into social programs, uh, the crime would go away. There's some, some bullshit. Like that. And, um, I've posted, I think three or four times variants on that, but always absurd. Um, I did it after the city of Bruce stuff where I was like, Batman would just stop fighting crime and instead, uh, impregnate all the women in Gotham. And he, he would eventually be the parent to everyone. And then, you know, he could just control him as dad. And, um, every, you know, I, I always like people laugh for a little while and people lose their shit. Well, I've got another one in mind. And then what I'm going to do is, um, uh, Batman should stop fighting crime and instead use all of his money to basically buy all the land and gentrify Gotham. And then, um, you know, all the crime will leave Gotham. That's my idea for a joke. And, uh, but I can always predict, like, there'll be, again, 75% of the people will laugh. 25% will absolutely throw a fucking tantrum. And it's an example of comics should be fun. It should be funny. You should be willing to, you know, assume there's a joke being had because life is so much more fun when you do that. Life kind of sucks if you're like, everything is like, oh, what it was it? Was that dumbass phrase that Rich Johnson was trying to get going? Um, it was, you know, it's like, it's one of those like fetch is never going to happen. Could say fetch a oh, grim dark. That's what he was like. Grim, dark storytelling. I like, shut up, Rich. Anyway, um, it doesn't have to be so. Here you go, Rich. I owe you 10 cents worth of royalties. It doesn't have to be so grim, dark all the time. We can have a laugh. Comics are fun when they're, when we can, we can joke. And so here's an email. But it's short. The, the email is actually not the point. The point is a question to you. This is a video where I want you, the, the listener, to be interactive in the comments. And the question is simply this. Who would win in a brawl between Doomsday, Hulk, and Venom? That's it. That's the entire meal. Now, we can answer that question. Who would win between Doomsday, Hulk, and Venom? And I would answer it this way. Um, Hulk gets stronger the angrier he gets. Venom, I think, is strong, but he's got some... There's too many major weaknesses. The fire and the sound both, I think, are problematic for him. So, uh, wait, is fire? No, sound. Fire is not a weak. Is fire a weakness for Venom? I think, I, I want to say yes, but now I've, I'm second guessing myself. God damn it. I'm clearly, I've clearly never read comics. By the way, one of my favorite bits is whenever I post these dumb things on Twitter as a joke, people always come in with the, there's you clearly never read a comic in your life, a comic in your life. I always love that, that push. Uh, when people want to win an argument, it's like, I've read more comics than you. And I'm just going to go ahead and go, bitch, no, you have not. I, I think exalted speed 
may have read more comics than me. But generally, I, I got to believe I'm winning that fight 99% of the time. I've read everything. I've read crap. I've read more crap. I've read, I mean, I've read everything. Again, I'm not bragging about that pull my dick out, but I am bragging about it to say, you know, don't, don't throw down. So, but I, I clearly have to turn in my comic uh, reader card if I don't know Venom. I think fire. Fire is a problem for Venom. But Sonics definitely are. Anyway, um, I think that between Doomsday or Hulk, most likely Doomsday, well, it also depends if we're talking Intelligent Hulk or Stupid Hulk or like which Hulk are we, we talking about here. I think Venom is the, um, is the, Jesus Christ, Texas drivers, man. I don't know if you can hear any of this in the background, but. There's another dumbass who's just drilled several holes in his muffler because, uh, I don't know, that's how you pick up chicks. Um, anyway, I think uh, Venom is the loser in this fight. I think then we're battling between Hulk and Doomsday. And um, I, I, think, um, I think Hulk probably takes it. But there's been a lot of stupid Doomsday stories, so I, I don't know. But I, I think... Uh, I think if you really get angry, completely kind of world breaker Hulk, if you're getting like, you know, planet Hulk level Hulk, then I think, uh, I think Hulk is going to win that one. I think Doomsday kind of, again, depending on who the writer is, is he a major threat or is he kind of a clown depending on how that's going? I, I, you know, Venom, I guess, are we, are we dealing with the Al Ewing, Rom B, Venom planet, symbiote, the old multiverse, I, I, you know, whatever. But I think uh, I'm going Hulk. So what about you? Who wins of Doomsday, Hulk, or Venom? But more importantly, this is a bigger question here. Why are we having more of those conversations? Because those conversations are fun. Um, the who would win between, um, you know, various comic book characters is a tradition. Kind of as old as time. Um, those were... I mean, hours and hours and hours got spent. Who would win? You know, uh, Deadshot or Punisher? <clears throat> Who would win? Superman or Silver Surfer? Sure. Who would win? Um, Wolverine or The Flash? You know, these, these discussions around comics are endless. And the best part about them in many ways is there's often no definitive answer. Especially when you cross over Marvel and DC. I know there's been the Marvel and DC uh, crossover comics and everything else, but those were often kind of stupid. And, you know, they really were designed so that each company would get an equal number of wins because, you know, no company wanted to, they had to balance it out somehow. But it, it, is, um, it is fun to contemplate who wins in these fights between, you know, Quicksilver and The Flash. Or between Robin and, you know, Jubilee. I'm now thinking of the uh, DC Marvel team-ups and everything else. But these are fun. You know? Who's going to win? Green Lantern or Storm? So my question to all of you, the listeners, is... What are the, what are the cool kind of, you know, fantasy battles that you are interested in? Throw them in the comments. And then what I want you to do is look in the comments at these battles and give your answer. That's step one. Okay. So to repeat, go to the comments right now, put in the battle you want to see, you know, Deadpool versus Deathstroke. Who wins? Put in your fantasy battle that you want to see people comment on and then go down in the comments and, you know, answer. And if you really want to spend a bunch of time, answer with why. You know, why does Superman beat Captain America? Well, that's obvious. He just flies into the sun and you're done. But, you know, I think that uh, that's the kind of fun comic talk. That if you've ever been in a store and you've had these conversations, it's fun. And then, this is step two. There's three steps. Step two if you're on Facebook or Twitter or wherever the hell you happen to be, take some of these conversations there. Because, goddammit, it's going to be a hell of a lot more interesting 
to speculate on who would win between two fictional characters than who would win in the battle of live streams between, you know, two comic crowdfunded creators. Those battles are dumb as fuck. Nobody cares. It's kind of just ego stroking nonsense. What's really fun is to get into, you know, the fantasy part of it. Man, I've got a sore throat, so my voice is like cracking as I'm saying this. I don't know if any of this is coming through, but Jesus, I, I mean, like my voice is a wreck. Anyway, I think I may be getting sick. I don't know. Who knows? You know, I could be, I could get sick, upload the video, you know, while I'm sick and then die. And then you still have like four months of videos. It'd be really creepy if you go back and listen to these like, ooh, Perch is getting sick. Ooh, Perch sounds sicker. Oh, now he sounds okay again. Oop, no, back, back to sick. Oh, now he's dying. I don't know. <laughs> When the, when the channel finally ends, I will do a proper goodbye, mostly because I have actually already filmed that video. But um, I'm tempted to just, like, just end. And especially, like, end with, like, just some benign topic, and then there's no more. And then everybody's going to be like, oh, shit, Perch is dead. I don't know why that's funny, but it would be to me. Anyway, go online to your favorite social media bullshit site and uh, throw in some of these fights. Let's see if we can get people talking about that. And then the third thing, third point, third thing for you to do is, why can't we have fun like this? I mean, people got passionate and, uh, you know, they like really worked up over who would win these fantasy fights. But God damn it, that's a hell of a lot more fun than the, the kind of stupid shit we're currently getting worked up on. And if I write, you know, and, and by the way, I don't know when this video will come out. I, I tell you in like a couple of weeks, if I remember. I will post the latest of the Batman Buys Apartments. You tell me, if I actually did that, and you happen to follow me on Twitter and you're seeing all that, you tell me, did that post go over well? Or were people jackasses about it? You let me know in the comments below. We'll see. Well, like, my prediction is, somebody's, it will generally be happiness for a while, and then there will somebody will be a jackass. And the person who's a jackass... I'm either, I'm either sounding like a crazy person right now or I'm the most amazing predictor ever. You tell me which happened. The person who's a jackass will immediately go to the, well, I couldn't tell if he was kidding or not. And my answer to that is, bitch, come on. If you're writing, Batman should put his money to buying up apartments and charge rent. It's clearly a joke. Like, in, in no universe is that serious. And if you if you think that that is serious, you are the moron. No excuses. It's kind of like, um, you know, what was the... Uh, it's, uh, this is, this is going to date me a little bit. But what does it? Am I right? When I was in high school, um, there was a, a myth that was going on that said that uh, if you... Let's see, I'm going to tweet... If you uh, do not wear protection, but you have sex during a full moon, girl can't get pregnant. And I remember my high school did a little public service campaign saying, uh, that's actually not true. She can get pregnant during any moon cycle. Um, doesn't matter. You should, you know, if you don't want pregnancy, you should wear protection because, you know, she definitely could get pregnant, even if it's a full moon. Um, so definitely like, like, you know, you can do what you want, but if you're going to, if you're going to, you know, what's the expression? My couch pulls out, but I don't, if, if you're going to follow that advice, um, she's definitely getting pregnant, even if it's a full moon, like the school did this. I remember there was a, like a, a person that came to the class to explain all this. I remember listening to that going, <laughs> on one hand, people that stupid should just, you know. Yeah, that's their own problem. On the other hand, people that stupid getting pregnant means uh, a lot of really stupid kids. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe this maybe this public service announcement is necessary. Anyway, I've gone astray at this point in the video. If you listen to this point, more power to you. And remember, the magic word, the secret word is parakeet. So, you know, just let me know. Thanks for listening.